The modified internal rate of return, or MIRR, of an investment is defined as the present value discount rate that makes the net present value of the investment equal to zero when all the positive future cash flows have been reinvested until the end of the holding period at the reinvestment rate, which you decide, and all the negative future value cash flows have been funded at the acquisition date at the safe rate, which you decide. So if you want to be doing modified internal returns and planning, that's no problem. But what you need to do is switch models. So notice at the bottom right it says RUI. Just go up to the file menu item and select new model. And you can be switching back and forth in your side your investments at any time or developments. And here we'll go to RUM. Click OK. And now you see your, your RUM or modified rate of return mode. We're still in the same investment. Now when we go to the investors page, we need to put a reinvestment rate and a safe rate. Here we'll do 10 and 5. And then the modified rate of return will be shown in a number of areas. One will be basic analysis. And here you can see here's the modified rate of return before debt, before tax, or after debt, and after tax. If we exit, then we can also view that inside the income statements. So it won't be saying IRR, it'll just be saying modified rate of return all the way out. If we exit again, we could also see that inside the annual statements. Here we'll look at year 2013. And here you can see here are the MIRRs. And then also in sensitivity analysis, we can vary just like we did against the IRRs. Here we're going to vary the reinvestment rate, and we'll vary it from 5 to 15 steps of 1 and vary that against the rate of return, the modified rate of return before tax, and click Run. And what it's doing there is it's every cash flow gets reinvested to the end with this reinvestment rate and that if and then it does the IRR. So here is a modified rate of return with the different reinvestment rates. If we click another, let's vary the safe rate. And safe rate only kicks in if there's any negative numbers inside the cash flow going out. So it doesn't necessarily change. We'll just say run. And here it's all the same. It does change a little bit. So we do have some negative cash flows that have been uh, discounted back. Let's click another. So we can vary, of course, the regular stuff. Anything, that's any assumption we can vary. Here we'll vary the cap rate at sale from 5 to 10 steps of 1, and we can see how that affects the return. Also, we can go into risk analysis and vary anything. So here we'll vary the reinvestment rate, the safe rate, the cap rate at sale, the inflation rate, and the general vacancy credit loss. We'll do 200 trials against the modified rate of return after tax. And then when it does that, it runs 200 actual trials of that. And in those, with all these things varying up here, the lowest one it came up with was 11.2. The highest was 17.4. And then finally, we can also see the MIRR inside the cash flow analysis. So we go to utilities, cash flow analysis. And if we go file, import cash flows, we could bring in the modified rate of return cash flows. And here you can see it's done on a monthly basis. And to show you the present value and the future values of all the numbers going out. And you can change the reinvestment rate and the safe rate here right away. And it will recompute the numbers and show you the, the new modified rate of return based on the reinvestment rate. If you click on exit, it'll be back to the assumption edit screen. And if we go up to File, New Model, you can see that you can also do the modified rate of returns on the Group LLC or Limited Partnership models as well.